we still need to talk about the urgency of climate change. I think we're all experiencing extreme droughts, extreme temperatures in the summer in Siberia, 38 degrees, bushfires, flooding. I mean, I think, I think it's pretty clear that the climate is changing. Yet we are still hooked on fossil fuels uh, and fossil fuels emit CO2 emissions. CO2 that has been captured by fossil fuels over millions and millions of years are now being released into the atmosphere in like a few, few hundred years. So actually the, this, the atmospheric CO2 amounts are now as high as they were three million years ago. And then the temperatures were about two to three degrees higher pre-industrial era. And the sea levels were 15 to 25 meters higher. I would like to rest my case by that. Well, the funny thing is that we all say that uh, climate is urgent, but uh, we don't act as if it is urgent. And so I would like uh, to paraphrase uh, Sir David uh, Attenborough, who basically says that it is frightening, but uh, the climate evidence and science is telling us that if we don't act uh, vigorously within the next decade, uh, that we will see a loss of uh, the natural worlds and even a loss of our societies as we know them today. So, indeed, very, very urgent. If you talk about urgency, you need to understand the trajectories we are facing. So, either we, we decarbonize slower in the world, and then later we do it uh, faster, or we decarbonize very fast now and then slower later. You get, dif you get different trajectories, and that means different cumulative emissions of carbon. It's a bit of a complex story, but it depends uh, on the path we take. Uh, and in the end, technology is important. So, the, if we get advanced technologies, we will decarbonize faster and vice versa. So the urgency is one, the importance is two, but the trajectory we take is even more important. Yeah, well, the climate crisis is basically the, the biggest crisis that we currently face as a humanity. If we look back, the last five years have been the hottest on record. And if we want to keep a world that is also attractive to live in for our kids and their kids, I think it's very clear that the sooner we act, uh, the less costly it will be to solve this crisis. So that should all bring us into a clear action mode. The urgency is really to act now. Uh, business as usual will lead to a world that is unlivable for our children. Um, so we need to act, we need to change. We have less than one generation to decarbonize our economy. That's a complete overhaul of the way we live, the, the way we eat, the way we travel. Uh, and we need to do that within one generation. Every year counts. Every year we delay, the costs increase. So the urgency is really to act now.